my job. All right, Kaz. I'm all right. What are you doing up there? Pipes leaking. If it's not one thing, it's the other. See this whole rig? It's a pile of shite. It's falling apart. And we've only just started drilling. Fucking Cadal. And fucking Rennick cutting corners. Aye. Speaking of, you are in the shite, wee man. Rennick got a letter this morning from the mainland and he's been up to a high dough ever since. Heard he's gunning for you. Well, that's just brilliant. Christ, I need a smoke. Can I find my lighter anywhere? Take mine. I don't need it anymore, honestly. You're a fucking lifesaver. I'm going to get breakfast. All right. I'll see you for darts tonight. We'll put a wee picture of Rennick up on the board for you. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. See ya. Look, there's no escaping. There's going to be a dozen mere rigs up here by the end of next year because the pricks in Westminster want their grubby wee hands on Scotland's oh, oil. Christ, none this again. The bear is already down to the bare bones, and Cadal are just going to make more cuts to get other rigs on the go. If we don't take industrial action soon, oh, this place... come on! If we don't take industrial action soon, this place will be even more of a death trap than it already is. He's got a point though, Gibble. We're down to a skeleton crew in the pontoons and it's ropey as fuck down there. Workers of the world unite! What do you think, Kaz? <sighs> I don't know. I'm just here to fix the lecky. <laughs> what do you think will be keeping the lights on if this place falls apart? That's coal, you numpty! <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, boys? No bad, Kaz. Raft's here's a bit shaky, though. Going to be the lad's first solo dive this morning. Is that right? Ah, you'll be all right, pal. Especially with the big man here looking out for you. Have you done it before? Christ, no. I'll stick to the lecky, thanks. No great in tight spaces, and it's blowing a gale out there. Really filling the lad with confidence there, Kaz. Ah, sorry, wee man. Don't worry about it. Brody's got you. Enjoying your last day, McCleary. What's that supposed to mean? You've been a naughty boy, from what I've heard. Ah, give peace. You're not exactly an angel yourself, I dare. I'll be fine. Well, you'll not be missed. You wouldn't know a day's graft if it slapped you in the face. <laughs> I'd like to see you try and do my job. You wouldn't know a spark plug from a fucking hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your mouth, McCleary. <laughs> you alright, Roy? Cars, my old mucker. I do. I think it's the polis. Can't be surprised, Kaz. You hear from Suze? She's talking about divorce. Oh, I'm sorry, Kaz. She'll come around. Not if I get the jail, she won't. Well, maybe you could have considered that while you were battering Billy Chamberlain's head in. Cunt slagged off Suze. He had it coming. And there he is. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee, and swears like the devil himself. Listen, mate, even if it is the polis, maybe it's best to just go back and face it, yeah? Ugh, I don't know, Roy. I'm fucking scun up with the whole thing. The Lord loves you, mate, no matter what. And I'm pretty sure Suze does too. That's all clear for you now, Roy. Lovely job, thanks, Dobby. Oh, Trot says he's left your insulin in your cabin. Oh, bless his little communist socks. Muchly appreciated. Ta. Remember, life is like football. It's not over. Until the final whistle. Aye. You're a Barnsley fan, so you're pretty much fucked from the off, right? Oh, I will see you hand for that McCleary. Off you trot, lad, before his nibs blows a gasket. Mano. 
hope it's some leftovers. See what the score is. I'm all right to get by, pal. Sorry, right. you have to go around, Kaz. will crush you if you get close. McLean it! Jesus, Scooby. Give me a heart attack. Oh, sorry, mate. Can I ask a wee favour? What do you need, Scoob? Oh, could you do me a quick fix on the crew lift fuse box while you're down there? Aye, nae bother. Oh, you're a lifesaver, mate. And don't let the big man get you down, all right? Thanks, pal. McClary. So glad you could join me and sorry to have got you out of bed. Shut the door and have a seat. Oh, I'm fine, Stan. Sit your ass in that chair, you fucking liability. But I, I run a tight ship. Do you understand me? A tight ship. Technically, it's no ship. Shut your gub, you Ned prick! I am sick, sick to fucking bookin' of you wee gobsites messing with my operation. That chef might be a mate of yours, but he does not run things around here. I do. Do you understand me? All right, why don't you just get on with it? Don't you answer me back! You might be the height of shite on shore, McClary, but out here, I am the fucking king. Do you understand me? You bring the polis to my door, to my rig. Uh, I, I can sort this, right? I just need time. Shut it, you. Clatty gobshite. I've got here some mama who can make a more positive contribution to this operation than you. Well, I know Shut you... it! I'm in a meeting. What? Fuck's sake, Gibbo, I don't care. We're on a schedule. It's a fucking drill. You've got a fucking drill, so drill through it. Yeah, well, Roper's a whiny old fud. He's got a problem with everything. I don't care if it feels half. Just fucking do it! Or I'll come down there myself! That, uh, trouble with the missus? You're fired. You hear me? Fired. 
Come on, man. It's only a wee bit of trouble with the polish. I'm good with the lecky. I keep things running. You said it yourself. Out! Get off my rig! Aye. Happy New Year to you too, you cunt. But you're a right pair. Two bars and a ball bag. Now listen, Pat. I promise I'll take care of him. I had a word with our Kieran, you remember him? He knows Billy Chamberlain from way back. Owes me a favour. Reckons you can sweeten Billy up a bit. Come on. Have I ever let you down? No, you lost the cake at the wedding. No, now then, now then. That, that wasn't my fault. You left it on a bench at Argyle Street. Aye, you were that bloated you didn't even remember baking the cunt. Oh, my children, that was before the light of the Lord came to me. Here we fucking go. Yeah, and you, Mr. McCleary, you can fuss and cuss all you like. But perhaps if you went to the Saracens a little less and the Tabernacle a little more, then perhaps you'd not be in this pickle, eh? Don't, don't look at me. You're the one who decided to spend the next four months trapped on our egg with this bam pot. Susan, I promise you, I promise you, we will get this straightened out. I will. You'd better. <laughs> Guys! Christ! He's gone cold! Shit! Guys! Get his leg! We can't leave him out here! Move! Fuck! Cash! I think he's deep! We've got you, man, alright? We've got you! He's breathing, thank Christ! Cash! Wake up, Cash! Why is he not waking up? Can you hear me? Is he gonna die, Brody? <laughs> Kaz? So, you got me out. Did you get Gregor? I got you, I. I couldn't find Gregor. Fuck. I'm sorry, Kaz. Oh, Jesus. He's not the only one we lost. Oh, no, no. Rass is still in there. Why aren't these working? Kaz, I need you to help me. Kaz! What? Right, I. What, what do you need? The cable's stuck. Go down and release the main brake. Then come back up and raise the bell. If you can get it to my level, I think I can get him out. Aye. Rafs, it's all right for getting you out. It'll be two minutes, pal. That's it. Come back and winch up the bell now. What happened? Don't know. The 
Drill hit something. An air pocket or gas explosion, nobody knows. But whatever it was, it was big. You were lucky, trust me. Douglas is trying to find out Mayor. Like if the bear is even safe now. What's wrong with rafts? I don't know, all right. Decompression shouldn't be this bad. Oh, I shouldn't have let him go down there. I said I'd look after him. I'm here, Rafs. It's pro day. I'm going to get you out. Uh, is there anything there I can do? No, I'll get him. We need to know what's going on up top. You'll need to go through engineering. The way up is blocked from here. Where's engineering for here? I've never been doing this end before. The only way you'll get there is to go under the rig. Should be a clearer path down there. All right. I'll head down now. Hit! <laughs> 
Something useful. Jesus, Finley. You all right? Tell me where you've seen a ghost. Who's making that noise? Gibble. He's making that racket. There should be no find him, help him. No. Then I recommend that. What does that mean? It means he's no all right. After that explosion, he got oil or some shite on him and just... I don't know. He freaked out. Went for me. He's still out there. You mean out here? As in out here with me? Aye. That's exactly what I mean. Oh, that's just fucking brilliant. You seen anyone else? I just got here. Where are you going anyway? Back to accommodation. Listen, you'll have to get through the water tanks to get up to accommodation. And quiet like. Gotta go all the way up there. Jesus. And what about Gibble? Stay the fuck away from him. You're listening to me. He's no right, cuz. I'm no arguing. Cuz. Be fucking careful, eh? Aye. You know. <sighs> oh, 
Jesus. God, stop. Shit. Fuck. God, stop thinking about it. Just stop thinking about it. Jesus. Jesus. Right. Right. Is there anyone here? Hello? Fire! Get in, quick! Thank God you're all right. Jesus, what are you doing in here? What do you think I'm doing in here? What the bloody hell is going on? I don't know. People are dying, Roy. Dead? Who? who who's, who's dead? How? Douglas. Trots, I think. I, I don't know. It's, it's this thing. I, I think it's doing something to people. I don't know what to believe, you know what I mean? I do, I really do. I saw something out on the deck. I didn't stay to look. It just scared the shit out of me. I should barricade the door. We can't hide, Roy. We have to get off this rig right the fuck now. Well, without Rennick say so. Roy, did you hear Rennick? What, you think we're getting evacuated? He'd want everybody back at work if we were at the bottom of the North fucking Sea. <sighs> right. The lifeboats, then? Aye. You stay. Barricade the door. Let me clear a path, and once we're ready to go, I'll come and get you, right? I'll be here, don't worry. Getting some extra prayers in. <laughs> we're gonna need them. Gaz, um... You, you won't? 
leave me. It's bloody terrifying out there. I'm not leaving you, Pat. I wouldn't blame you if you did, mate. I mean, you've got all the food in here for a start. <laughs> Listen, get your man upstairs on the case. And I'll see you soon, right? Who am I going to get down there? 